what kind of plane that is. Did you find it? What? Huh? What lens you got on there? The wide angle? Or these? Oh yeah.
Yeah, we should have brought two chairs, Dennis. Please report to Lost and Found. Henry Boyer also to Lost and Found. Uh, Francis Hempy, I believe it is, to Lost and Found. And keep your eyes on that jumper, ladies and gentlemen, because at an altitude of approximately 1,500 feet, he will be deploying a beautiful American flag, which will signal the official opening of our show here today at Cecil, as it does at all American air shows. System and being carried towards our air show area here today. Those of you who are pilots in the audience are well aware that the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 20 feet off the ground right here in front of Show Center, the only glider in the world that performs an inverted ribbon cut. <laughs> and the jumpers are separated, deploying their canopies. We're going to count canopies here at Show Center. Ladies and gentlemen, all the jumpers are under canopy, and once again, science and technology have triumphed over fear and superstition as the Northeast Florida skydivers come towards the earth. Now, keep an eye on some of the individual jumpers. Some are without smoke, some are coming down, some are doing aerobatic type maneuvers, and some of them, as we mentioned before, will be joining up. As they come down, we'll give you a little bit of information about the team. Johnny Sumner is the program coordinator from Jacksonville with 1,300 jumps. Mike Waddell, the program liaison, 2,064 jumps. He's in the U.S. Navy. He's made 1,700 jumps. Joseph Rush, Gainesville, 800 jumps. Steve Brandon from Orlando, 615 jumps. Dennis Reed from Jacksonville, 580 jumps. You saw Larry Ogilvie from Orange Park, the dean of this team, with 4,400 parachute jumps. Terry McDonald, the man of Florida, 2,800 jumps. Dave Inside Patton from Jacksonville, off. 600 jumps. Brian Birchfield from St. Augustine, 1,200 jumps. Now Robert Lackey from Orange Park, 1,800 jumps. Now you notice how these jumpers are steering their canopies into the wind in the same manner that an airplane attempts to land most directly into the wind. Demonstrated out there under that beautiful silver, blue, and red, and black canopy. I got it. And up over here to the uh, high left side of the air show where we have two pairs of formation. You notice how all these jumpers exit at the same time, but they're uh, coming to the ground at different intervals. That's the beauty and the steerability of this Ram Air canopy. And we have another pair over on the right side for you folks down on the right side of the air show area. Well, it helped me immensely learn about this great sport of skydiving. Remember, if you're interested in parachute jumping, you can call Keystone Heights or Palatka, and they'll be most happy to accommodate you. The only thing I want to warn you about is what the skydivers tell me. Once you do it, you're liable to get hooked.
You notice that jumper over there by the Red Hawks, how he was able to literally break his descent in midair and just float down gracefully. Now, we have several, uh, several teams joined up here. It looks like this one team is going to separate at the last possible moment when the lower jumper hits. There they go. They're separating. <laughs> Look at that. And we have two more jumpers yet. And when these two jumpers land, let's have a well-deserved round of applause for all the members of the Northeast Florida skydiving team performing for the third year here at Station, coming in from the right. <laughs> 